Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. Today's demonstration is a very quick sketch of a simple winter landscape with some sheep. This is an imagined scene and I've created some leading lines to take the viewer's eye into the painting to a point where the rule of thirds lines intersect. This is a simple compositional device used by many artists so do try it for yourself. I've loosely sketched the scene with just a few lines for guidance, so let's get started. I'm wetting the sky with some clean water first, and I'm using um, ultramarine with a touch of burnt sienna to create a, uh, a grey for the overcast sky that gets darker at the horizon line. Just adding a little bit more pigment uh, along the horizon line, just to darken it a little bit. This is Saunders Waterford 300 gram rough paper, by the way. For the shadows in the snow, I've just uh, added a touch of uh, cobalt blue to the same mix, uh, just to uh, create a slightly bluer gray for these uh, snow shadows. Being fairly vague, it's just a quick sketch, just uh, painting around the sheep that I've uh, sketched in very quickly. A few more shadows on the hills, distant hills. The shadows in snow tend to reflect whatever colour the sky is, and this is an overcast sky. So they're going to be a bit greyer than, uh, than normal. For the tree line, as there's a road that are, uh, along the back of this uh, field that we're looking at, and uh, just putting a tree line in with a little bit of jadeite green and a touch of ultramarine. Not being too specific, it's just a quick sketch, just indicating the uh, tree line, uh, darkening the base of the uh, trees where they, they would be in more, more shadow. Just adding, adding a little bit more blue to the mix just to uh, create that darker area at the base of the trees. Just added a touch of raw sienna to the mix, just for those distant uh, hedges and uh, walls along the edge of the fields. Lighter colours recede a little bit, so it just uh, adds depth to the painting. For the head of the sheep, I'm using and the body. I'm using um, Naples yellow, fairly watery mix. This, this will dry much lighter anyway. Just getting the sheep blocked in so that uh, I know where they are. There's a few small sheep in the, in the distance, so they're obviously smaller, less detail. And the sheep in the foreground is uh, looking directly at, uh, at us just to, uh, out of curiosity, I guess. Just using the side of the brush, using the Naples yellow again, just to uh, indicate some areas where the snow hasn't settled. As I said at the start, this is an imagined scene, so I'm kind of making it up as I go along. But have in mind these leading lines that I indicated in the introduction. Again, just adding a little bit of burnt sienna to uh, that shadow area where the uh, the snow is overhanging. A little dip in the uh, in the landscape, and just dropping in a little bit of ultramarine just to mix in with the burnt sienna on on the paper. Let it blend together. I may go darker with that in a minute. I'm not uh, not totally sure that it's dark enough. Using the same colours for the uh, sh shadowy areas on the sheep, just to break them up a little bit. Uh, 
Just using a bit of burnt, uh, burnt sienna just to uh, darken that area where the snow is uh, not quite settled. And this is uh, ultramarine and burnt sienna just for a grey for the ears and uh, eyes and nose of the sheep. Again, it doesn't have to be too detailed, it's, um, it's just a quick sketch. But as this, the foreground sheep is closer to us, I'm just adding a little bit more detail on that. For the distant sheep, I'll just use a few, uh, few lines to indicate legs and heads. Just darkening that shadow, I wasn't uh, quite happy with it. So, uh, and a few dark patches dotted here and there in the snow where the uh, there are clumps of uh, earth and rocks sticking through. Just using some water to uh, just to fade that um, that shaded area where there's a little bit of a ridge in the landscape. For the twigs and branches that are sticking up through the snow, I'm using Van Dyke Brown uh, with a number zero rigger, keeping it simple. Just a few bits of twig sticking up here and there through the snow. And just using the side of the rigger to indicate the more distant uh, bits and pieces sticking through the snow. Using the same mix just to uh, darken the uh, the shadow on the legs of the foreground sheep and uh, and the eyes just adds a little bit of dimension to the uh, to the animal and with the rigged again you putting these distant uh, fence posts in that other leading line leading to the intersection of the rule of thirds lines and I'm pretty much done as you can see, I've just softened some of that uh, left hand leading line in the distance. Just adds depth to the painting. Uh, I thought it was a bit too sharp and was, was bringing it too far, too forward to the eye. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Do give this idea a try of uh, using leading lines to create a composition of your own. Um, if you found this video useful, do give it a like. Always helps with YouTube. And do subscribe if you're not a subscriber and hit the notification bell for future videos. And thanks again for watching.